in the Redneck Garage. Well, last night I started working on the truck. Randy came over and he looked so manly riding this uh, piece of equipment. Take a look. Easy Riders here. Hey. Randy. Yeah. How buddy. come you're not sweating like I'm sweating? Holy crap. Because I've been riding on this uh, buddy. Oh, man. Look at my face. I'm, I'm just covered in sweat. This is not good. What are you doing? Came over here to see if you got the truck yet. I did get the truck. I see that. It's my truck. You do what you want. I'm writing the song. Don't you wash it. I'm not. It's yeah. got a patina. Okay. All right, come on up here. I'm going to see if you can figure out what I've figured out. All right. What do you think's wrong with it? Why is the uh, radiator so wet? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the radiator so wet? Why do you think that would be? Well, from a distance, it looked like a brand new, nice, glossy black radiator, but until you look at That's it... That's where the just... antifreeze is coming out. Ah. Because I pressurized it with my handy dandy... Pressurizing tool. Ying Wang. Your hand pumper. My hand pumper. You're good at pumping. Here, I'm going to pressurize it, and you film to see if you can see anything. All right. All right? Yeah. Here's your flashlight. All right, now... Hmm, not seeing anything. I think you do. I don't see Look anything. at the bottom. The bottom? No, it's dripping. No, it's dripping faster. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You can see the bubbling coming from the bottom, though, so it's in that seam. It's a plastic radiator. I'll take off the cover tomorrow and the serpentine belt because it needs to be replaced. And, uh,. Definitely, it's just coming out the side of that anti that radiator like a bunch. You can't just go order a radiator uh, for this vehicle. Oh no, because there's two different ones, maybe three different ones, depending on the core size and the cooler. So what I'm going to have to do is take this shroud off the top, take some of this covering off the uh, overhead of it, and get down to the nitty gritty of the radiator so I can do some measurements before I can order it. All right, I got the shroud out. And the radiator's loosened up so I can measure the core from here to here, get a measurement, and that'll allow me to, to order a new one. But you can tell that this one is not in good shape. The old Ram ProMaster is showing the temperature at 109 degrees, and I can verify that I feel every bit of it. <laughs> All right, I made it to the Advanced Auto Parts, Brentwood, Tennessee. I've got my... Uh, I've got my order here and I'm going to get my battery core and we're going to go in and see if they have my order ready. Recently they started carrying diehard batteries which was the um, bedrock of the Sears merchandising giant corporation but they're out of business just about. And now Advance is picking up the banner of diehard and selling those batteries. Yes, have you picked up the uh, super VIP order that I placed online yet? Uh, let me see. Oh, he might, he might have it. It might be here. <laughs> Look at this. They went to all diehards. I am told that about a month ago everything switched over to the diehards and they're carrying that brand, which was always really good. The Sears, I remember when I was a kid that I used to get diehard batteries because we shopped at Sears and got tough skin jeans that never wore out. And you were always mad at your mom because you wore jeans that were blue for the, your whole life until you grew out of them. <laughs> One of the employees here has this bad old Jeep. He has really done a lot of work to it, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I always mess with him when I come in, but it is just a nice example of a great old Jeep that somebody's really put some work into. Well, we got the parts to get her going again. Radiator, antifreeze, battery, thermostat, gaskets. Awesome. I will say this. Um, they're always nice in this auto parts store, and I've always ordered my orders online so I don't have to stand in line with goose and say it's a no, whatever it is, right? But not one time, nary a time, have I gone into this store after ordering online, and I've got ordered a bunch of times, have they ever, ever had the order pulled? Every time I've gone in, they've had to look at the order, pull it up, and then go pull the order, which I think kind of defeats the purpose of placing the order online. It's a little windy out here, but I got the parts. 
uh, we're going to be putting on a thermostat and you're saying why why would you put on a thermostat well here's your lesson on that boys and girls if you've got a radiator that the seams have busted or something is uh, coming out of the seams uh, it could have been because of pressure because if the thermostat locks up or uh, stops up you can build up a lot of heat which causes a lot of pressure and the pressure can cause the seams of the radiator to blow out so putting a new radiator in and the thermostat not being changed if it's bad guess what you're gonna have another bad radiator so let's eliminate that by putting in a new thermostat one of the tools I use a ton is my Milwaukee quarter inch electric ratchet this thing is super handy it uh, saves you a bunch of time in trying to wrench it yourself and it has held up amazingly well Alright, so that went pretty well. I got the old radiator out, the one that's leaking on the seams, and uh, got it all washed down on the inside. Ready to put the new one back in. Now it's time to get the thermostat ready. Get that changed out because that could have been the problem all along. The thermostat on this model actually sits right down here, and you've got the housing with two millimeter bolts. We're going to take that off, and we're going to replace the whole thing. Alright, so after taking the two bolts out, uh, tapped on the housing and it popped right on off. So that's really good. We didn't have any bolts broken off uh, Now we can clean that off that surface and put the new one back in Okay, I will say this that Devin told me that he took good care of the truck and from every indication He wasn't lying the uh, air filter is in brand new shape all the hoses and belts are really actually pretty good um, just from the mechanical failure of the uh, radiator and the battery from just sitting other than that I think the trucks in really really good shape all right, so here's the new thermostat, housing and all. That's pretty cool. It's all built together. It's got a new rubber O-ring. I'll slap this baby in, and we'll be ready to put the radiator back in. Woo! And it's on. Yay! Well, here it is, the new one. It is a marvel of plastic and aluminum. Uh, probably last, what, a couple years anyway. What do you think? A couple years? Maybe three. Maybe three. Three years. That's interesting. Uh, when I was young... Radiators weren't built like this. They weren't like disposable of aluminum, some plastic cramped together, and hopefully they'll hold up. Uh, they were made out of metal and brass. And if you had a problem with your radiator, you pulled it out and you took it to a place. And here in Franklin, it was Canada's radiator shop. And you could bring it to Mr. Canada, and he'd put down a cigarette, and he'd pull it over, and he'd stick it in a tank, and then he'd blow air in it, and then, then he'd take some solder, and he'd fix your hole up, and he'd go, here you go. And he'd go, $40, and you give him $40 cash, and you were down the road with a repaired radiator from Mr. Canada. And sadly, he's passed away. Nobody fixes radiators anymore. It's one of those things now that are kind of like me and you, Rainy. Disposable. They're old and disposable. That's right. But let's get this radiator back in the truck after this amazingly great story. It was. It was great. Was I, pretty I, I think so, too. Yeah. It looks like the right one. I'm going to stick this thing in here. Hopefully, I can figure out where it goes. What do you think? Shouldn't be too hard if a monkey can do it. I'm telling you. Sadness. Sadness. Get it in the hole. It's in! There we go. I'll put a bolt in it. Hold it up! Looks good. Okay, I decided to cut the video here because, truthfully, how much excitement can you take watching a, a radiator installation. <laughs> in the next video, we're going to see if indeed it does hold antifreeze, uh, if the truck starts and runs, and if we're finished. So keep watching. Uh, we'll see if Devin can get this thing on the road. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.